Hey guys, let's talk about tonight's episode of Arrow and <laughs> that ending, what? <laughs> so Oliver has finally come face to face with Slade Wilson. Oh my goodness, I literally screamed at the TV when that reveal happened. And who introduces the two of them? Moira Queen, that's right, Oliver's mother. And right now, there has been a whole lot going on between Oliver and his mom, and they have not been getting along. So for him to be called to the house with a 911 call, and he's assuming that it was Thea, and when he gets to the house, Thea's not there, and and her mom has no idea why Oliver has interrupted a meeting that she's in, and we get to the, who she's talking to in the meeting... <laughs> And it's Slade Wilson. And he stands up and he's like, it's nice to meet you, <laughs> Oliver. And you're like, what? Oh my goodness. So it's about to go down and I love it. Okay, the other big reveal we got in this episode was who Sin is. And when they were on the island five, six years ago now, um... There was a plane crash and the, the pilot of the plane was injured very badly and Sarah was helping him, trying, trying to save his life. And when he was um, talking to her, he told her that he had a daughter who was 12 and, you know, she was basically going to be orphaned because her mom passed away when she was born. And, you know, I'm kind of sitting there going, okay, what is so important about this story? And then earlier on in the episode... We okay. Well, we already knew that Sin knew Sarah because um, back when we met Sin, she was the one who was protecting um, Sarah, her identity and everything. And um, so when she comes face to face with her in this episode, everyone's like, "Oh, have you met before?" And they're like playing it off like, "No, no, we don't know each other." But we do know that they know each other. So um, at the end of the episode, Sin comes in to talk to Sarah. And, you know, they have a really nice, uh, sweet exchange with one another. And then she says, you know, I already have a big sister, but I still have room for a little sister. And obviously she's referring to Sin and, that, you know, she, and we don't really know why they're bonded like this or why she cares about Sin. But we find out that she is the daughter of the man who died back on the island. So when he was telling her this story about his daughter that was going to be orphaned, obviously when she came back, she tracked her down and has been, you know, taking care of her or sort of been there for sin in, you know, a, like a sibling kind of way. So that was a cool little reveal too. So, you know, I really like Sin's character on the show and I actually like her with Roy better than I like Thea with Roy, but that's whatever. Um, but that was a nice little reveal at the end. Um, so this episode we had, you know, the case of the week and it was about a guy who was pretty much like this cyber genius and he was hacking into all these places and he was trying to, I think he was trying to rob a bank. And, um, you know, so, you know, the whole Scooby gang was on the case and um, a Felicity was feeling a little, what? Can, how can I say? She was feeling, I guess, like she wasn't part of the team. It was a very great off the top moment when you see Sarah fighting with Diggle and with Oliver and like she's in the middle and then she's doing all this kung fu fighting business and it looked wicked and you know Felicity walks in and she sees this going on and you can tell that she's a little you know bummed because she's not able to do the same things and you know obviously Oliver is a fighter and he does all these things so I think she feels a little neglected. So then they start talking about their war wounds and, you know, bullet holes here and stabs here and arrows through here. And it's like they're all talking about they're all bonding over their scars. And Felicity's like, well, I have a scar, but it's in my mouth because I got my wisdom seat pulled out. And she's like, I left three stitches. And again, it was one of those moments where she feels inadequate. She can't live up to Sarah, basically. And Diggle calls her out on it later in the episode. And he's like, I know that it must be hard for you to see Oliver with Sarah and he's like she's like it's not about that it's about me um you know not being able to protect you guys because what I, one, the one thing that I'm really good at which is the technology and hacking into things you know the the cyber genius guy had one up to her and ex blew up their little compound there so she was feeling a little inadequate and even off the top she was trying to fight and she was you know she was wearing like a workout top and she's like sparring on her own and you know, obviously it's very girly, whatever that means. 
And um, so what I liked was when Sarah came in and she started giving her some pointers and she was like really doing well on her own and like doing some good, uh, you know, punches to the, to the, the dummy bag or whatever. And um, so I kind of like that. Sarah and Felicity have created a relationship with one another. I think Sarah knows that Felicity likes Oliver, but um, she hasn't said anything. And I think that she's, you know, even later on, I know I'm jumping all over the place. I'm sorry, but I know like later on in the episode when she's wearing like this black leather blazer, you know, um, Sarah even calls her out. She's like, oh, you know, like what's up with the jacket? And she's like, I was cold. And obviously it's her way of trying to look edgy and a little bit more like Sarah. So I thought it was really sweet that Sarah didn't um, or hasn't, you know, made Felicity feel unwelcome or uncomfortable. I mean, let's face it, Felicity was there first and Sarah's now coming into the lair where they all are together and they're a team. And I think it's good that they're making it seem like they're all a team. Um, and then of course we had Felicity at the end, you know, push Sarah out of the way when the crazy dude was about to shoot her and then Felicity got shot in the store in the shoulder. So now she has a war wound story and she can bond with the rest of her crew, which is kind of cute. And, um, again, making her feel like she's completely included. And I like that Diggle told her that she's irreplaceable because that's the thing about Felicity. I really like her character on the show. I think that she's great. I love that she's smart and that she's intelligent and she's pretty and, you know, she speaks up when she needs to. She doesn't cower in a corner. You know, she might not be a fighter, but she is talented in other ways. And of course, Oliver knows this. So when he goes up to her and I'm sure all the shippers of Felicity and Oliver were like, oh, kiss her, but that's not going to happen. And so when he like touches her face and he's like, you know, you're always going to be my girl. And I thought that was a really cute moment. And it was nice that no matter what, no matter who comes into Oliver's life, um, um, Felicity's always going to be number one. You know what I mean? In that way. So speaking of Sarah and Ollie, uh, a little too soon for a guess who's coming to dinner because <laughs> I was like, what is going on here? First of all, like no need to throw salt in the wound. I mean, yes, I'm a little over... Um, Laurel and her antics and her, you know, whining and complaining, but I do understand where she's coming from, you know, to a degree, because this whole thing started when her sister went on this boat with her bro with her boyfriend, and that was how she died six years ago or five years ago or whatever our timeline is now. And, you know, for her to be willing to throw this dinner party for her dad to hopefully reunite the parents... And then Oliver shows up and then Oliver and Sarah are making like googly eyes at the dinner table. I was like, um, too soon, people, too soon. <laughs> so the fact that Laurel lost it and then freaked out was awesome. Um, but I really did like the exchange between Oliver and her, which was like, dude, you're not the only one with issues. Like, I get that you just realized that your sister's back. But there's a lot of other things going on and it's not just all about Laurel. And I like that Oliver called her out and I like that he said, I've been in love with you half my life and I'm over it now. I'm not going to run after you anymore. Because it was just sort of like that snap back to reality here. You know what I mean? So I thought that was um, pretty interesting. Um, the main thing that I'm still not enjoying is the fact that Diggle is still kind of on the sidelines. I know there's so many supporting characters going on right now, and I know that we need to flush out all the characters. Like, we need to flush out Sarah more, and like, we need to get to know her because clearly she's gonna be a major part of this show, and I believe that she's gonna be Black Canary. Um, but that being said, Diggle is still important, and he's part of the team, and I hope that we don't continue to just sort of have him say one or two lines every week, you know, cheer up Felicity, have a little fight sequence here, which was awesome still. But, you know, I want him to be a little bit more in-depth in this, in this series because, like I said before, Oliver and Diggle have a great relationship, and I don't want that to just sort of get lost in the shuffle. Um, you know, again, with the case of the week, it was fine. You know, Felicity ended up using her cyber genius skills and blew up the phone that was in the dude's pocket and he passed out or, you know, he was unconscious or whatever. So, you know, like the, the case of the week was just kind of like whatever, but it was more about everything else that was going down. And they really did spend some time on 
you know, working on Laurel and the relationship with her dad and then the relationship with her sister. And then, of course, we had, you know, Felic uh, Felicity and going through her, you know, transformation and like sort of just understanding that you don't have to be on the same level as Sarah and Diggle and Oliver for her to be noticed within the team. So I like that too. And then of course, Oliver and his mom, and then bam, the reveal at the end. Um, <laughs> I just can't wait to see what happens next week, guys. Holy schmoly. Let me know what you thought of this episode. Please leave a comment down below. Like, subscribe, share this video with anyone that you think will also enjoy it. I mean, it was a little bit of a slow episode, but that ending, kind of made up for it big time. So <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I'll see you next week and bye.